In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a print-on-demand business empire for free without spending any money. You don't need mid journey anymore because some of the AI tools that are available for free just got the big, big update and making mid journey a little bit scared about their future. So now we can build this empire completely for free without spending money on ads, without spending money on subscription on mid journey, without Photoshop, without any of those tools. And today I'm going to show you how to do it. But you might ask yourself why you should start print on demand business instead of selling digital products, for example, or maybe just do dropshipping. Here's a couple of benefits that I see. First of all, selling print on demand products has become very easy, especially with tools like AI. AI will create the images for you. Printify will ship and print your products for you. A marketplace that you're going to sell on will advertise these products for you for free. And the marketplaces I'm going to talk about in this video are Etsy and TikTok because those are the two that I've been selling on and they get a lot of traffic action on these websites and POD products have higher margins than like digital products that you can sell on Etsy. The only con that I can see is that the barrier of entry is very low because it's so easy to start this and so many people jump in and start doing print on demand businesses and they fail because they don't know what they're doing. They just think they have a great design and that's going to work. But the reality is there's a little bit more factors to it and I'm going to tell you some of these factors that you should consider towards the end of this video. Okay, so here's the breakdown of what we're going to do today. First, we're going to pick the product that we want to sell. Next, we're going to look for designs and patterns that are already working and then we're going to use AI to create similar designs because if something is already working we already have a proof that if we create something similar there's a high chance that this is going to work out too. Then we're going to market this on free marketplaces like Etsy and TikTok and last thing we're going to sell it so let's get to it. So first thing first we're going to pick the product that we want to design. I already have something in my mind, but I'm going to show you the options that you have. So our central hub that we're going to use for print on demand products is going to be Printify, which you're going to find the link down below in the description of this video. And the cool thing about Printify is that the platform where you can put your designs on a bunch of different products and they handle the shipping and the printing, all this stuff for you. And you only pay for the product once you get an order. So designing and building all of this, you don't pay anything. You only pay once you get an order. And they have a bunch of different products such as mugs, bags, t-shirts, hoodies, hats, whatever you want it. But the one that really interests me are phone cases. And the reason why they interest me is because I've been selling phone cases in the past and I know they do very well on platforms such as TikTok and Etsy. A lot of people are obsessed with their phones and they want to have them in cool cases so they can show off their personality and express themselves. And making AI phone cases is very easy these days because you can kind of replicate designs that are already working relatively easy and quick. So once I know what type of product I want to sell, now I have to find designs that are already working. And to do that, I'm going to head over to Etsy and I'm going to look for phone cases that are already selling well. Usually I use a tool called Everbee that allows me to find products that already are selling well. But since in this video we are focusing on free methods, I'm going to show you how to do it for free. So once you type in phone cases in the Etsy search, what you want to look is the results they're showing you on the top. So for example, I can see this phone case right here being shown to me. Let's click on it. And what interests me right now is the fact if there are any reviews for this particular phone case. And I can see that this phone case has received seven reviews. I'm not looking at the shop reviews. I'm looking at the phone case review. So that means that people are buying this product and they like it since all of the reviews are five out of five. But in fact, some people actually posted pictures with the design, which gives more credibility and shows that this is something that people are looking for. So now, since I know what type of designs are working, I will try to replicate this with AI. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take a screenshot of this pattern that this phone case is using and I'm going to save it on my computer. Usually at this point, I would go to mid journey and I use the command slash describe to have mid journey come up with the prompt and create a similar pattern for me. But now OpenAI, which is a company that created ChatGPT and an AI generator called DALI just received a big update for DALI that definitely improved their AI generator. Before that, DALI 2 was not even close to mid journey. It was really, really bad to be honest. But now the new update is actually really good and it can even create text on images, which is something that mid journey you cannot do right now. However, to use the full potential of DALI 3, what you want to do is you want to go to Bing.com. So don't go here to DALI 3 website, go to Bing. And once you're on Bing.com, go over to the chat button right here. And this is going to open this prompt generator, very similar to ChatGPT. Matter in fact, this is ChatGPT because Bing owns OpenAI, which is a company that stands behind ChatGPT. But now you can also create designs on it. And this is how you do it. 
Make sure that you are in the creative mode like this. Next, this is the prompt generator. This is where you type the commands, but I'm not gonna type in the command. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload the screenshot that I just took from Etsy. So here's the image. And now I'm gonna type in create this design. Dali or Bing or ChatGPT, whatever, it's it's all of them at once, to be honest. It's gonna start working and try to recreate this design for me. And after a couple of minutes, mid journey, <laughs> I mean, Bing, not Mid Journey, my bad. I always use Mid Journey and I forgot. Bing has come up with some designs. Some of them are a little bit off, like this is not completely the design I was looking for, but then another ones are pretty close to it. For example, this one, it kind of gives the similar vibe as the original, or even this one and this one. And here's the thing, I'm not trying to copy everything one-to-one. -one. I'm just trying to create something with a similar vibe and Bing, was able to give me similar vibe without having to spend money on their subscription. So I'm gonna go with this design right here. I really like this one. I'm gonna save it on my computer. And next, we're gonna create our first phone case. Before I upload my design to Printify, I need to make sure that it's big enough so the printer will not complain about the quality. And you can do this using a Photoshop or some other tools like GIMP, but I'm gonna use a free browse photo editor called Photopea that allows you to do the same thing. I just open the file, image, image size, and when it says DPI, we're gonna change it to 300 and click on OK. That's gonna make sure that the resolution is high enough for the printer. So when they print this out on the phone case, it's gonna look great. Now I'm gonna head over to Printify and put this on my phone case. So Printify offers a variety of different phone cases, but the one I'm gonna go with is this one right here. It costs $10 to print, and it's $8 if I have a Printify premium subscription, but we're trying to do everything for free, so we're not gonna buy that subscription. So I should have the highest margins of this one since it's the cheapest one to produce. Now I'm gonna upload my design right here to the page a little bit of an adjustment and voila this is the final product this is what the phone case looks like i think it looks pretty neat so we're done with the design there's a couple more things that you need to do with the listing but before we finish the listing there's one thing i want to touch first which is where you're gonna sell your products. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I recommend selling on Etsy and on TikTok shop because both of these platforms are advertising your listings for free, or I should say for a fee, but you only pay that fee once you get a sale. On TikTok, the fee is about 2% and on Etsy, it's 7%, 8%, something like that, plus the 20 cents for listing a product. So I guess you have to spend 20 cents at the beginning of this whole process. I had a big success with TikTok shop and I have a little success with Etsy selling iPhone cases, but I do focus on both of these platforms because again, there's an audience for this type of products over there. So what you need to do as well is you need to connect your Etsy account or TikTok shop account with your Printify account, which is very easy. All you have to do is just follow a couple of instructions and Printify has all the guides dedicated to it. And if you don't know what TikTok shops are and you are interested in learning how to sell on those, I released a course dedicated to TikTok shop that's available to my YouTube members. And if you're looking for a more print on demand in-depth tutorial, I also have a free course on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna have links for both of these videos in the description so you can check it out. Okay, so once you decide on which marketplace you wanna sell, whether it's Etsy or TikTok shop, you have to finish the listing and figure out the title and the description. So what I would suggest, if you don't have any research tools like Everbee, I would check what my competitor is doing, which keywords this person is using, and I will copy their title and improve it. So maybe this person using keywords that are unnecessary or you're not bringing any traffic. So for example, I would delete all of these spaces because they just reduce the amount of long phrase keywords, which can bring additional SEO juice for you. I would also change this dark botanical iPhone case to dark witchcraft iPhone case. Remove the dark at the academia word. It's unnecessary and no one's gonna look for that. Replace the word casing with case. It's more popular. People are not really looking for casing. Replace the word cover with case. And I think the rest should be fine. Description has a lesser impact on the SEO. However, the first sentence in the description is very crucial. So what I would do, I would modify this description to say something like unleash the magic and mystery of the dark witchcraft iPhone case, just to include that phrase dark witchcraft iPhone case. Now, when it comes to pricing, I see that my competitor is selling this for $24.90, but currently they're running a sale for 20% off, which means they're selling this for $19.92. So I would probably sell this for a similar price, maybe $24. 
88 and then I will run a similar sale just to bring some people in first. My margins are 58% which is still relatively high. And once I'm done completing this design, all I have to do is click on publish and wait for TikTok or Etsy to start advertising my listing and bring people in. All right, so now you know how to create iPhone cases with AI generated images using free methods. You listed your first one, what's next? Well, the answer is simple. You just have to replicate this 10 more times a day because what ends up happening with a lot of these print on demand products is that people get really excited, they go on YouTube, they watch these videos like the one you're watching right now and they see this is very easy to start, but then their store doesn't get sales and they just give up. I'm speaking from experience because I've done this in the past too. Since the barrier of entry is so low and requires almost no money. The only way to win this is by outbidding your competitors. And you can do this by having more products because more products give you more exposure. And eventually one of your designs was gonna kick in and my boost up the sales of the whole store. This is really a number game once you have the formula and the formula is always the same. Pick the product you wanna sell, find the designs that are already working, recreate similar designs to the ones that are already working and do this 10 times a day. That's the formula. Over time, consistency should lead to your success. So don't give up on it because you already know the formula, I just told you. Now all you have to do is just do this 10 times a day. Of course, there are other factors such as the quality of your mockups, your brand and things of the nature. But if you're not consistent, if you you don't have a habit of consistency and working on it, no mockups or brands gonna help your store. Good mockups and good designs might just speed up the process. But at the end of the day, this is a number game and it's all about how many listings you can list a day and see consistent. Make sure to check out the Printify link down below in the description of this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, but that's all I have for you today. Take care. I'll see you next time.